to open Saba. My name is Diana and I will show you how to create and run your first open Saba project. Let's start. First, you have to create a new open Saba project. So click here to open the open Saba menu, then choose new open Saba project. In this wizard, just type the project name. In this case, we will call it invoicing and choose English as language. So the code below works and click the finish button. Let's wait a few seconds. And now your project is ready to start to write code. Let's see here. Great. Developing the application is very easy. So select here the com.yourcompany.invoicing.model package and click access here too. Type customer as class name and do not forget to write the C of customer in uppercase. This is very important because all Java classes start with uppercase. After that, press finish. The initial code that Eclipse provides for customer is pretty simple. You can see here. This is our first class. Now we have to convert it to an entity suitable for Open Java, and for that we only need to add the entity annotation. So let's put here at entity. You can see here the error uh, in red so the only thing that we need to do is import entity after that we will write the getter and setter annotation getter and setter this makes all fields below publicly accessible like before, you can press here and import setter. Also works for getter. Now we will add the number and the description that we said before. First int number. And string name. For a number, we will use the add ID. We use this because the number property is the key property and key are required by default. And also we will add an add column with a length. After that, we will set that the string name is also a column with length. This is the length of our column. And also, we will add the required annotation. With this, a validation error will be shown if the name property is left empty. Like before, you have to import the, in this case, the open Java annotation. Now click on the run button. That's it. We just have to wait a few seconds. And our application is already running. To check this, open your favorite browser and go to the URL localhost column 8080 invoicing. Let's try it here too.
Perfect. Here it is, our application running for the first time. So to start, click on sign in button. We have to write admin as user and admin as password and click again on sign in. On the top left, you will have a list of models and we will use the customer model to create a new customer. We just have to enter a number, for example, 12 and a name. Press save and customer created successfully. Perfect. Click on list here to see the list of created customers. And here it is, congratulations. You have your first OpenShadow application running. So from now on, developing the application with OpenShadow is very easy. Just write a class and go to your browser to see the result. For example, let's create another entity for product. Let's go again to Eclipse and select the .com, your company invoicing model package. Click Access here. As we did before, we shall have to write product as a class name and press Finish. Similar to what we did a few minutes ago, let's write at entity getter and setter. We will have here to a number and a description. These are columns. And our number will be the ID and the description will be required. Let's save our work. Now click on the run button. Uh, this will stop your application and restart it again. Here it's working. To see your new entity in action, open your browser and go to the URL localhost. 8080 slash invoicing slash modules slash product. Again, login with admin, admin. And we have a new model running just writing a simple class. Let's try it. 15 description chair. Perfect. 
congratulations, you have created your first open job application. Now you're ready to move forward to lesson two. And if you have any problem, please write us or just leave your comment and we help you out. See you in lesson two. Bye.